Okay, now there's a more direct way, okay, there's a more direct way to solve this question, which uh, I personally um, like it because it's very quick. And if you could handle that, you should, you be, able to, you should be able to see what I mean. The, the, the theme of it is about the same. Okay, but this is how it goes. Okay, we're going to go straight into the number of small squares, write down the sequence, and somehow see from that whether we are able to get some sort of progression from there. Okay, number of small squares, okay? One, five, and there's going to be 13 here. Okay, and I calculate, okay, never mind, it doesn't matter. Okay, so it's one, five, 13, okay? And the next one is going to be 25. All the way to number here, which is the 100 term. And we start, and this is the zero term. Sorry, 1, 5, yeah, this is the zero term. This is the first term here. Okay, n equals to 0, n equals to 1, n equals to 100. So we got this um, sequence, and we want to find the 100 term of the sequence, which starts with n equals to 0. That is quite important. We'll see why later. Okay, so we will just. Um, Look at the one over here, okay? So, the com now we look at the difference. Now, may I say again, it's not the common difference because it's not the same. So, 1 plus 4 equals to 5. 5 plus 7 equals to 13. 13 plus 8 equals to 25. What am I doing? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. 1 plus 4 is 5. This one is 8. This one is 12. Yeah, correct. Okay, so this is the difference of this sequence. Let's just say capital N. No, no. Okay, like the previous question, you can see that the difference forms an arithmetic um, series, you see? I'm taking a guess that this one's going to be 16. Okay, let's just assume that, okay? Though these three numbers is sufficient enough for us to think that way. So the difference now follows a arithmetic series, right? So, likewise, if we can sum this up together, okay, we can get the 100 term. Does, does that make sense? Okay. You see? To get this term, right, this is n equals to 2. We take this, add up this, add up this, which is basically the, the sum of these two. So if we want the, the, the third term, we take this, add up this, add up this, add up this, which is the sum of these three terms. So we exclude the first term for now, and we just concentrate on this. 4, 8, uh, 12, 16. Well, it's no problem because there's a common term. The first term is 4, and there's a common difference which is 4 also. So we can immediately sum all this up. Okay? So I'll just write down as Sn equals to um, 4n plus common difference is 4 over 2n n minus 1. Okay? Now, is it 100 or 99? Well, let's, let's have a think about it, okay? This is called, okay, now let's have a think about it, right? This is the first term, okay? So to get the first, uh, this is the first term, yeah. To get the first term, I would have to do it one time. To get the second term, I have to do it two times. You see, I add this one and I add this one because we're starting from zero, right? So to get the first term, I, add it, I have to add two times. No, sorry, to get the one, first term, I have to add it one time here. So this counts as one. To get the second term, I add twice. This add up with this. To get the third term, this add up with this, add up with this. So to get the hundred term, I have to do it hundred times, okay? So hundred times would give me this whole sum over here, all the way to the 100 term here. However, I started with n equals to 0 for, for, from the original problem. So there's a 1 over here. Doesn't matter. So all we have to do is that a n, okay, a, a n, which is the n term of this, is the n term of a n here. Actually, I should put capital N. It's going to be 1 plus the sum over here, which is this. So it's going to be 1 plus 4 n plus 4, okay, 2, 2, n, n minus 1. Okay, as you showed, as I showed you just now, we want the 100 term, so we're going to put 100 in here, and there we go, 1 plus 4 times 100, plus 2 times 100, times 99, which I calculated already. There we go. You can go check uh, from your calculator. So, as I showed you here, we just immediately write out the, the sequence. We can find the difference of the sequence that we are finding out, okay? And the difference follows an arithmetic um, sequence. So we just sum the difference because there's a common difference that's easy for us by doing that. And then once we do that, we can find the n term of the original sequence an. 
which is one, the first zero term plus the difference. So that's how you solve it. You always try to start with the original problem and you try to find whether you can pick out an arithmetic or geometric uh, series from there and there you go. And then you can use the standard results that presented you before. That's how you go.